Uh, I'm joined here by uh, Vinay Mohan Kouachar, who is the Indian ambassador to France. Thank you so much for coming to see us, ambassador. Thank you for having me on the show. Let me start by uh, picking up on what Lila was just saying there. This call for a de-escalation by the uh, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. How does India respond to that? Yeah, um, I heard what uh, uh, I heard very carefully what Lila said, and I think uh, what we are trying to do here, perhaps inadvertently, is combine few unrelated things and try to piece a story which is based on variables which may not necessarily be related to each other. Uh, uh, you mentioned escalation, de-escalation. Uh, let's try to fully capture precisely and factually as to uh, what happened to what Leela mentioned on 14th of February, uh, a major uh, terrorist attack uh, claimed by Jaish e Mohammed, a terrorist organization, uh, based, headquartered, operated, trained, financed, supported in Pakistan, launches an attack. Forty uh, uh, paramilitary soldiers of India die. Uh, is that a pacifist action? Is that an escalatory action? You can ask yourself that question, but. We were restrained and we were, I would say, even responsible in our response. What was our response? Uh, first of all, our response was in the nature of counter-terrorism response. The kind of response which the countries world over do. When United States picked up Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad, it was a counter-terrorism action. Other countries do in other parts of the world. So we did a counter-terrorism action, which was non-military in nature. No military installation was targeted. What you would call a surgical strike. It was non-military. It was non-civilian in nature. It was aimed only based on... And why only based there? Because there was a credible intelligence information that more terrorists from that camp are planning to launch attack on India. So it was a preemptive, non-military, counter-terrorism strike in that part of the world. Okay. That's what we did. Then you come to the, uh, you know, the, the response which, uh, uh, which, uh, which Pakistani uh, Prime Minister, His Excellency the Pakistani Prime Minister mentioned, and then which you were referring to me. Also. I think what, uh, uh, what Excellency the Prime Minister of uh, Pakistan has said is nothing different from what the previous Pakistani leaders have said in terms of talks and dialogues. Leela mentioned about that he talked the talk. What we need to see is we need to see walking the talk. Mm. We want to see deeds on the ground. And as of now, we have no evidence on the ground, absolutely, that there is any effort by Pakistan to rein in, control, stop, close down the factories of terror which operate out of Pakistan. So we have heard a statement, but as I said, we need to see the deeds on the ground. As of now, there is no evidence. Okay. Well, uh, just, I mean, the deeds on the ground, one of the, 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 the fallouts of what's happening on the ground is there's an Indian Air Force pilot right now in Pakistani custody. Uh, you know, that, the, yes, there is the talk. This is a long-standing issue. But doesn't this reduce New Delhi's bargaining chips and what can happen now? You know, yeah. this has now reached a stage where there is an Indian military officer in Pakistani custody. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to fully, again, understand what happened yesterday. Uh, there was an uh, uh, attack which came uh, from other side. We believe on some of our military installation. Uh, we, I mean, the Pakistani we, we, version yeah, is... We were aware of that. We, we got aware of that. Uh, Scramble Jess, one uh, uh, pilot has been missing in action. We are currently ascertaining the facts. One of our jets was down. Yes, we are aware. But we are currently ascertaining the facts about the pilot who is missing in action. But I think, as I said, you know, what you need to, to, to realize is that a talk for dialogue is fine. And we have always stood for talks. Uh, I mentioned in a program here at this way studio last week that when this prime minister was sworn in in May 2014, he is the first one to have invited the prime minister of Pakistan to come for discussion. He is the first one who on his own went uh, personally to the residence of the then Prime Minister in, 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 in December, I think, of 2016. 
what do we get in returns? We get in returns terrorist strikes. So I think you need to position where is the escalation coming from? It's coming mm -hmm. from the terror factory. And what we have done the uh, day before yesterday was principally a counterterrorism, uh, non military. A preemptive strike. Okay. Well, earlier on in the day, we spoke to your Pakistani opposite number, mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm. Pakistani ambassador to France. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave us uh, his uh, his version of events. Let's listen in now to what sure. Moin al-Haq had to say. Sure. Prime Minister uh, Imran Khan, from the day he uh, took oath of his office, he has been offering peace talks to India. And clearly, today's statement was the continuation of our very strong policy and that Pakistan-India issues have to be resolved through talks and peaceful dialogue. And uh, today, he, uh, the National uh, Command Authority of Pakistan met, Prime Minister chaired that. And after that, he issued this statement where you can see uh, the clear uh, policy of Pakistan not to escalate, to defuse this uh, uh, situation, which is not of Pakistan's making. It was unfortunate act of aggression uh, taken by India yesterday. You must have seen that. And we, what we did today was is clearly in, as, as part of our uh, self-defense. Yeah. Okay, the uh, Pakistani ambassador to France there speaking about how this sure. is about self-defense. Uh, and he talked about, this is a situation not of our making, he sure. says. How do you respond so, to that? So, uh, uh, I've heard very carefully to what... Uh, the Pakistani ambassador to France has said, there are two parts to it, which he has said. He has said that uh, the Prime Minister Imran Khan, when he took over, talked about peace talks and his current offer is in continuation of peace talks. What I have mentioned earlier also is that we have heard talk the talk. What we need to see is the deeds on the ground. Uh, Park india dialogue is something which we also want. It is written in the Shimla agreement that all the disputes between the two countries will be resolved under the Shimla agreement. But there are two principles to it, peacefully and bilaterally. It's pretty much prescribed. And the Shimla agreement of 1972 was reiterated in 1999 in Lahore Declaration. I'm sure Leela is well aware of it. There is a second part of what he said, that Pakistan is not responsible for the... I would uh, humbly like to disagree with him. I think Pakistan is solely responsible for the current situation because if the Pulma terror attacks uh, of 14 February uh, which found clear support in jaish e mohammed which is headquartered, trained, supported, financed in Pakistan. If that not had happened, we would probably not even be meeting here today talking decision. So the issue lies there. So I think Pakistan is squarely and 100% responsible for where we are right now. Right, but with the peace process, uh, it's under the Shimla agreement. I mean, one of the things the, the Pakistani ambassador did mention is... Uh, they periodically say that they would actually like to have a third party, uh, you know, a mediation, which uh, India is, is not conducive to. Mm -hmm. um, so what now? I mean, can we re reopen peace talks now? Because th this is stalled. Yes, mm -hmm. there were moves both by the Indian prime minister and the Pakistani prime minister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we mm -hmm. go forward? Yeah, well, as I said, it's very simple. Stop the terror factories. Stop terrorism close down support to terrorism, dialogue will automatically happen. You cannot, uh, you know, uh, uh, assume a situation wherein you say, look, I'll talk to you, but I'll continue my terror attacks on your country. You know, uh, please understand this. The, and, you know, uh, I, would, I, would, I will take you back to another statement. I, I'm not sure whether this has been factored or this was brought together, brought, projected in by the Pakistani ambassador. On January 6, 2004, there was a statement by India and Pakistan. It was a joint statement in which there is a, there is a small sentence. Allow me to read from there. And I quote, it says, President Musharraf, the then President of Pakistan, reassured Prime Minister Vajpayee, the then Prime Minister of Pakistan, that he will not permit any territory under Pakistan's control to be used to support terrorism in any manner. This is a public commitment of January 2004, which I think has singularly been dishonored, not complied with in any respect, either in letter or spirit, by the Pakistan. To your question with regard to the international mediation, as I mentioned, there is a bilateral agreement between India and Pakistan, which is called Shimla Agreement, whose provisions were reiterated in Lahore Declaration, which clearly says two things. One, that will resolve disputes between us peacefully. One, bilaterally. Two, and not only that, they also commit 
not to interfere in each other internal affairs and not to uh, uh, do take actions which compromise the sovereignty and uh, territorial integrity of uh, of uh, of each other country so i think uh, the the key question here remains pakistan support of terror terror factories the entire supply chain of terror in their country and unless they stop it they themselves have to ask themselves question as to why is that happening Okay. All right. Right. I mean, we're gonna, I'm sorry. We're going to have to. We're going to have to leave it there. I'm so sorry uh, to cut you short, Leela Jacinto from our international affairs section. Thank you so much uh, to you, Vinny Mohan Kowatra, the Indian ambassador to France. Thank you very much uh, for sharing that with us. Thank you for France. having Thank us. Thank you so much.